Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, please click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I wanted to do a video on Toronto. I've been seeing a lot of rumors circulating around this team, a lot of different players being mentioned and linked to them, and a lot of the news happened tonight, so let's talk about it. You know, as, as far as after tonight's win, they are 26, 17, and 7, 59 points. And as far as the Eastern Conference uh, playoff race, uh, the last two wild card spots are held by Columbus with 62 points and Carolina with 61. And the two teams sitting outside of the wild card are Philly with 60 points and Toronto with 59. And kind of you might see these four teams battle it out until the end of the year. You know, they're four good teams. You know, and I could see each one of them trying to make a play to uh, make a trade to get ahead of the pack. So could we see any one of them being proactive and do it earlier than the others? We'll have to see. Trade deadline is February 24th. It's less than a month away, so we'll see what happens. Um, as far as tonight, Kapanen got injured, um, injured his arm, played just 442 of the game. Keith told reporters x-rays came back negative and we'll, we will, will be reevaluated tomorrow. And a lot of people saw him post-game. They didn't see any sort of um, sling or brace, so that's a good sign for uh, Kapanen and Toronto fans. And um, hopefully they look at him tomorrow, they see it's a day-to-day -day situation, and this doesn't affect any trade rumors going on. If it's more of a week-to-week -week thing, it could affect it, because a lot of teams are looking at him, then Kerfoot and Johnson. So um, as Toronto's trying to free up some cap space going into the end of the year and to help their situation out for the uh, playoff push this year. According to uh, retired NHL scout Roger Dicklin, Leafs GM is actively working phones and trying to tinker with the roster. And a lot of names that they are looking at include Matt Dumba, and they're looking at mostly uh, right-handed defensemen, whereas when you talk to a lot of people, they, they want more of a rugged left-handed um, defenseman that is more physical. They need more of a physical presence. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with Toronto and what they look to add. Um, Matt Dumba's an interesting name, like I just said. I... I see Minnesota trying to make their way back into a playoff position, so I don't see them trying to trade Dumba, although a lot of teams are be rumored to be in on him, so we'll see what happens. Um, Brandon Dillon, another option. Craig Smith is rumored. Alexander Georgiev, and I heard a lot of rumors with Georgie Georgiev being involved with Toronto as Kapanen is going back to New York. I heard that for a while. Nothing's happened, so we'll have to keep an eye out on that one. Um, Alec Martinez is another interesting option from uh, L.A. I don't see L.A. making the playoffs this year, so um, that's an interesting option. He adds playoff, uh, you know, he's a winner, Stanley Cup winner, adds a lot of playoff experience, good depth uh, defenseman to help out this team. It could be an interesting option, but I think they're trying to sell high on him, so he, he may not come that cheap. And Aaron Dell is a backup uh, goaltender situation. And then there's also other names like Sammy Vinen's another thing. If you're looking at a right-handed defenseman, not the most physical, but can help pull, uh, move the puck up the ice and add a couple of points from the back end. Um, you know, a lot of teams have a lot of defensemen they're looking to move that are on expiring contracts. These are just a few of the names that I saw. So um, as the trade deadline ne nears, you'll hear more and more names, but these are the key ones that you're hearing a lot about now. Uh, Dubas is trying to package Cody CC into any of these deals. So any team that's looking to acquire any of these players, they're going to have to have enough cap space to take on CC's contract, which is he's a UFA at the end of the year, so that's not too bad looking ahead. And, um, you know, they're going to have to have cap space to take on whatever player they're looking for now or picks or prospects. So um, an interesting team that kind of comes into this is Anaheim. Anaheim is said to... Um, want to take on expiring contracts to try to acquire some assets as they're kind of not having the best of years. So can you see a guy like Manson going the other way? Um, you know, we'll see. But Anaheim's going to be an interesting trade partner with any team this offseason or this, you know, nearing the trade deadline. And, uh, you know, Dubas is looking for a right-handed defenseman. But I remember seeing some news that he's not looking for a UFA defenseman. He's looking more for a player who has term and has, has a cap-friendly sort of contract. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of names that are out there. You know, one of the devils is Severson. He's got a cap-friendly deal with a little bit of term and not too pricey. So, Toronto, <laughs> we'll take cap in it. And um, 
you know, I also saw news that Bob McKenzie reported on uh, TSN 1050 that the Leafs are trying to work with Jake Muzzin on a contract extension. So that's interesting news. I like the way Muzzin's been uh, working with the team. He's back from injury. I like what he adds to this team. And, um, you know, he was a good acquisition for this team. So I'd like to see him retained by them somehow. You know, they're going to have to make some mo bold moves to try to free up some cap space and to help them for this playoff push. And, um, you know, I have faith in Dubas. I, he had a great year uh, this past off season, So I wouldn't put it past it to make uh, great moves. You know, he's, he's a good GM at making, you know, sound decisions. So we'll see what happens, you know, um, you know, with all the players that, have high contracts, you know, you kind of look at him, be like, I eh, gave too many players too much money, but he did make some shrewd moves this offseason and kind of got, you know, Kapanen and Johnson and all these guys locked up to good deals where they're easily moved. They could be easily moved. So we'll see what happens going, uh, going further. So, um, you know, draw, let me know what you think in the comments. Would you like to see certain players moved? What kind of return would you like to look for? What kind of team would you like to have going into the the play uh into trade deadline and into the playoffs with you know comment below let me know thank you all for watching please like comment and subscribe have a great rest of the night great day tomorrow and take care